not destroyed, so it's actually giving a lot of information. Ooh, a Volva with the Eagle Peak through the smoke. No one expects the smoke criminal. And they go in on site. 5v4, 4v4 equalizer. Choctaw on the default. That's not as dead. Choctaw. And Luka getting that kill with the Sheriff, but the dash doesn't give him anything. And now Avova debuffed. Double damage possibility. No stars on site. Soya with the very late lurk, but doesn't do anything. And that it is. Backside arrow to check, but Pan Luca just goes straight into a trap. Gets demolished through a smoke. Shock to it on Hui. Deals a little bit of damage, but that's about it. One flash to clear close angles in double doors. And they go through. No one to stop them, but it's still a 5v4. G2 can play safe. They know about players being in uh, in double doors, and they don't risk it. They don't go into it. They don't want to end with the weapons out. <gasps> Vado... The classic, there's so much damage, man. It's like 78 to the head. One enemy and cleaned up. Well, Woo, scary moments. And they killed him on like 10 seconds or something. Mm, slow mode. We're gonna do it for like 3 seconds so one person cannot spam shit. I mean, stuff. Alright, first full buy for Chug, and they're actually doing well. 4v2, 2v3, low HP for the opponents, and now Chug, from being in a very good spot on the A side, they're actually falling back. They cannot go in. Pan Lucas in low HP, Hami half HP, this is not looking good anymore. And now Jito is also able to re to retrieve the... Left. One enemy remaining. Last player Alright. He baited his opponent. Avova baited Meadow into dying. Nice executor night. There's a one way being countered as well, as well by the Astra Smoke. Hoodie just gets one through this smoke. Unfortunate. That shocked her. That like 123 damage. And a second one. Harmy a little bit un unaware. And he already died once to this shocked her on pistol round. What a dismantled retake. Or a rather a. Retake that dismantled the opponents. Here. Well. Stay down. Remember guys, this is the lower buy, so we don't really expect much from Chuck to do here. Three. And it, as you can see, Kellogg's just kind of farms Not orbs yet. here. Uh one enemy remaining. I mean, guys, let's be real as well, right? But they could rush in into one direction. They're being stopped right now by Hoodie. It's gonna be a 5v4. And there's Nuki's ult stopping the plan. No, I actually didn't stop the plan. No, that is cleaning up. Hell, and they're being pushed out. Oh my god, Soul with the double kill. Robbing self flash, I think. He gets one more, but look out with, with the classic for some reason. I, I was very confused right now. Kellogg still gets one hit while one while he was picking with 20, 10 HP. Okay. And he gets two players while still being on 10 HP. Unreal. Zoned people a little bit. Worthless. One enemy the lurk from Pan Luca didn't work at all. And now. Vado, can he do? 5v1 with 10 seconds left. A very ambitious task at hand. Why Hoodie isn't playing Jet? G2, I mean, they have. Why, why would Hoodie play on Jet when Kellogg's is here? Oh no, Soya. Oh no, Panluka just dashing into without a smoke. I mean, there are some fundamental levels missing here in this round, that's for sure. That is for sure. Like, it's, it's very wishful thinking for a jet to dash One into a site. To be, like, still alive after that dash when you don't dash into a smoke, right? Up that push with the initial fault line. 
The camera gets the confirmation. G2 already has three players on A. They're just gonna hold them. And again, they just go in without doing anything to clear the utility first. They get something done. Two players are now dead. But now, oh, this is such a... He was running out of bullets. It was such a nice pre-fire into that angle. Oh, no. It's like watching myself in rank. He's tagged by the drone every single time. The side control. No one is on side. Full retake. 5v5. That's Kuri's ultimate. Ah, that's, that's the rolling thunder. Didn't affect Meadow, but Meadow gets nothing done. He's just being stopped. And that retake this time is not successful maybe i'll eat my words because it seems like nuki and hoodie just go in and get those kills for free what the hell did i just witness how it was a three versus five d chug has two players they get the first one avova astro and astro violence happening but color gets the trade 2v4 suddenly soul gets two free what a run for soul it's 1v2 kellogg gets a tap on the guy on ct that was the sova but the spike is left on the side now he has the auto confirmation of the b long push he knows about the player he knows about the second one now he knows where both are and he waits for one look at the hit go into his aim but pan look with one tap from the sheriff 50 damage is exact. He has uh, so much information about how people are pushing into this side. Spraying and praying, getting them through the smoke. That is a hold right now from Chuck. They need that confidence boost and they get it. And they get a Guardian for free as well. And otherwise the G2 goes to 12. And this is not how you want to play out this round. Yeah, this is unfortunate. So, let me rephrase what I said, right? With a scoreline like this, 11 to 3, you... Okay, nice. You can't really win in the round. Because if you lose that round... Option in the previous round was to buy rifles. The arrow's being covered by the smoke. Panluka gets the drop on Kellogg's because of that. Is that a comeback? 5v4 retake. Avova is on his last breath. He's on fumes right now. I don't think he has any stars right left. One enemy remaining. Oh no, this is not a good position for me to be in. And Saul, that Rainer that has to carry in pistol runs, now is totally stuck and dead. Oh my god, dismantled. Kellogg's like, okay. Maybe even better. Three. But he fails to do even one. And now the site is completely open. Three versus five retake. 30 seconds left. A crossfire being set by G2, and there's absolutely no way that this is gonna be successful. But you see guys here, Shokta is being used to clear the traps from Cypher, but Soya still gets the middle on. Oi, 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 the Ferrari peak. Soya, you need to... Oh, we're on the peak! The headshot on meta was beautiful! still gonna be tough it's a three versus three retake and nuki gets spammed i thought he was gonna die from the shock that oh the catalogs is in such a good positioning oh but look it gets a drop on him though that looked very clean for Kello from Kellogg's right now and hami to use it he just holds the angle gets a bit of them needs to be the bait now but soul gets the lurk and rain that's something that we love to see right ah it's hopefully i mean it's not an attack so it's fine Noki with that kill on soya big opening of Volva with the spray and misses the second kill but still gets one for one and that retake is still not looking good. And Nuki with a kill for the wall. What a hold by Nuki with the Odin from the opponents. Uh, Nuki Kellogg's again opening. Was that the? It was on on heaven. So he just 
Gets that before the smoke goes up. And this is a very unfortunate round again for Chug. Three versus five. And Pan Luca cannot hold that short at all. Baru though. He is that force that gives a little bit of a, a little bit of space for Chug, but Pan Luca decides to play short for some reason. He had this is his alt account that he didn't use like for a long time and Oh Jesus, that that feels just bad. That that just feels bad, man. No one destroyed the arrow. Hammy gets a drop on one, but it's still a very very tough three versus four right now. And Soya instead of Hammy is now in that same place. Oi oi, it's a three versus five. Full execute. Nuki gets another kill through the wall. He doesn't give a damn about the position of the opponents. He just reads them so well that doesn't get anything. And Soul gets the kill on Kellogg's. This is the revenge he needed. He heals to full, but then he gets he that he didn't expect Kuri. I don't know if he didn't hear him jumping down from the wall, but Meadow with the lurk from mid just dismantles opponents. This is such a good move from by Huri now and Meadow together. They go in, get that CT by force. He gave the info. There's the boost. No one has the info because no one is playing close. So Kellogg's just gets a kill on full three. Oh, that is unfortunate, but Bound Luca gets the re. Oh, never mind. I wanted to say he gets the equalizer, but there goes the ult. This spam from Hoodie gets Hami. Oh, that is so unfortunate for Chug. Bound Luca, you need to get three more. Let's go, Bound Luca. We're watching you right now. You will see that haircut from Sage, right? Let's go. Oh, no, they're dead. Okay, could have ended, could have been worse. Vado gets a kill on on Meadow. That did take a lot of bullets, but there was no kill. My God, they were going like did he? <laughs> oh no! It's like in the meme where that cowboy is in like. You guys know the meme, right? When the cowboy is like in the open in the prairie and he goes like Aah! That's soul right now Kellogg's just destroyed him That was remains. tough Mad with the aim lab training here right now and passing another match after this one G2 another G2 match after this one guys Thank you for streaming this always love your insight on ta on the matches. Thank you Chachito for the 100 bits, my friend. Now you have a rank in chat, by the way. Woo, middle! The jump up! No! Scroll wheel much? Oh, no. Alright, Panluka and Sol. Oh, my God! This shot from Kellogg's was nuts. He has one bullet, but that doesn't even need to get a kill right now. Oh, my. Match point. Do you know anything about the G2 Golson match? I was actually wondering if I should cast that one, but I went for this match because this is the first time with Kellogg's after he was benched and now he's unbenched. Well, Anuka gets the drop on Kellogg's. They did force this run. Now they're gonna have a Vandal for free. Panluka picks it up. There's a Spectre as well for someone if they didn't force entirely because someone had a Deagle. I mean, a Sheriff, sorry. What does Pan Luca do? do? We didn't have a dash. They just go in. Ares is making some work. This is pre-buff, by the way. Still a good gun, if you guys don't believe me. And it seems like Chug might actually have this one, but the spike is on in the open. And Avova, the Ultra Lurker, we're gonna have a drop on Hami. 100%. He has a drop on both! Oh my god! Avova, no! How? Why? In that drone, he gets a little bit on the info. Because of that, they separate Kellogg's, and that gives them first blood. But Avova with a spray, because although Kildra is on very low HP, they don't, they don't have the kill. Meadow gets a drop on Void, and look, dies. Avova gets a second kill, and now Summon with just few HP points. Didn't manage to win. Timmy the third, what is Luke going? What is Luke just running around doing with his hands open like that? Hands open like that. Oh my god, Kellogg just gets kills for Aaron Spawn. He's trying to go into B Link, but Kellogg still has the upper hand. Even though he gets a choke that he gets then relieved of his duty with that Vandal beautiful scan through the smoke straight to his forehead. 
2 versus 3. It's a tough spot for AMG. Nonix was open to three different angles. And he got being... He, he, he would shot from two. Nice crossfire. And Nuki finishes it up. Clear mid. So Avova might go straight into the crosses of the opponents. And he got itself... He got himself killed. But now Nuki with a beautiful transfer and those two kills. Gets fed. Void a nice headshot. And gets finished up by Nuki. And Nuki now showing his the push from Meadow and Avova. But now he's just being picked apart. And this is what happens when a lurker player tries to lurk when there's no pressure being done on the other parts of the map. Like he just went straight up into the open. Oh, okay, Luke. Okay, look, but still, again, Five Kellogg's down, gets the mid. same angle that he did on round three. He's gonna be so eager to just overcommit. Ten seconds left, not exist tag. He can't really go into the spike, uh, sorry, into the side. But he goes in. What a beautiful setup by Meadow, but he just whiffs on this shot. Could have been a tragedy if he wouldn't be bailed out by Avova. And Avova plays perfectly. Baits for the peak. He stops the plan, Roy. Many of the traps. So he just, oh no, he misses the dash to side. And now it's gonna be tough, but Void bails him out. Hoodie's still on the, still on that spot. Gets two. Oh, he's such an immovable object right now. And it's such a nuisance against AMG. Gets the fourth. No, no ammo anymore, but he gets the reload. No one spams him through. He's still alive at 20 HP. And he's still trying to get the time on that side which means that nonix doesn't even get the plan no it's not okay so they use that killjoy trap to make sure that no one is pushing for the smoke to stop the ultimate from going on now we have plant on side it's gonna be a 5v4 retake on to b side we see that Revolver already gets the flank on Nonex. It's gonna be a tough round. There's, there's the Sky ultimate to be aggressive in this during this retake. And that's the only way for AMG to play. They need to be aggressive and they get two. But then the two gets paid back by G2 and now summon 1v2. He has a chance. He knows about DCT. He hears both players. 1v1. Kellogg's versus summon. He gave away so many informations. Summon. Oh, Kellogg's has no fear. He's just defusing. He gets it. 7-0 for G2. Kellogg's with no fear. What is someone doing? Why is he not doing anything? Why is he just standing out in the open? What? But that gets tagged by the Cypher camera. Kellogg's get a kill for free. Nothing was checked. No recon arrow was being used for that area. And Metal just gets an aim lab training on a shot. While Nonix tries to duel the player in wine by Ken gets his head cut off give yourself which might be a tilting if you don't realize that it was your own doing now a push for a main salmon gets a drop on two beautiful spray down maybe not beautiful but it was effective but hoodie and meadow stand ground on a and now grw tv how do i say that grtw gets a drop on the backs of on a side kellogg tries to spam through the smoke on the doors but doesn't get anything done and now it's postplant three versus three one and a swarm of they heard those steps they heard the recon arrow being cleared and hoodie gets a drop void gets a trade two players being not on the generator and on one v2 nanoswarm gets a lot of damage 10 bullets in the clip doesn't get the clear and hoodie just gets the trade what a not nonix is still baiting kellogg's and this is a perfect opportunity for gr to get that drop on kellogg's but instead he just dies and now they're being dismantled and attack again a terrible terrible round coming to for amg and they cannot get anything going for them but someone gets the drop oh kellogg's that this king is just you know the actual the actual execute an attack and you cannot play ascent you cannot play ascent without having good executes without having a specific plan in mind how to attack on on ascent the map is just so tough to play on attack and now avova even though he was known even though he was being pushed even though there was so much utility used on him he still gets one avova is a monster as well Oh no, Nonix just goes straight up into the drone. That is not good at all. 
Oh my. Shorty. This might be a disaster. And GR gets the first drop. Gets the second one. Beautiful shot. Then someone gets that shorty kill. But a Volva too strong. Opens up the side anyway. Two versus three. Why is not it fighting right now? Ooh, baby. That is the one. Jenny. And now Avova goes a little bit towards short. He doesn't see anyone. The double peek is too much. He doesn't even re- He's just waiting for them. He has a stinger. Is that a stinger? Is that a judge? Is that a judge? Oh no! Oh, he gets only one! That was the moment for him to get a multi-kill. That was such an important moment. But Novix gets one. Again gets traded. Not good look for the defenders. Three versus three. Attackers in an advantage. Ten seconds for the plant. It's coming in. And the doors are being closed. And Kellogg's just waits for that push patiently. No one checks that corner. Kellogg's gets in, gets in and just eats Luke alive. Oh my. Void. Winnable. He has the turret to check at least one corner. No smokes. Winnable, but not doable. Attackers win. You're lucky, generous. By Void. And now this an opening kill for Luke. They're going towards A, but A is already guarded by Nonex with the Viper wall that will stop any push. He has still one stink, but he's gonna use it after that wall is going down to buy a little bit more time, most likely. No, nothing being used. He didn't use the snake, but he's just holding it. But Luke gets the second kill already. And Nonex just gets out-aimed, but he still gets one before he dies. So it's a 4v2 retake. Very doable. And this is why you're going to see now the Omen push in CT because he needs to be aggressive. He needs to get one kill before they go in. And he already gets the GR. TW, however you say that. But it's three versus one. And it's going to be a tough task ahead of Avova to get this round win and it's impossible for him to close out the first duel that he ha has after getting that kill on CT. Carlos said the stream don't listen to Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Kellogg's what a beast bro that's impossible! Those runs should not be happening man! Those runs should not be happening! That's that's how you not, not want to play against an eco. And now Last with those specters standing. being collected from the opponents, they are getting those easy kills and that is a disaster in the making for... Nuki, gonna go together with Kellogg's. Kellogg's doesn't dash in, he ignores that spot, no one checks left, what is this? Hopefully, I mean, hopefully. Fortunately for Jin, while checking the side, so a huge retake now for... AMG, 3 versus 4, a lot of utility available still for G2. And Nuki somehow gets 2 kills when that was not even close to be feasible. What I'm witnessing, man, Nuki... Oof. A really ni nice peek, because what is being achieved here is Nuki just goes in with the satchel to distract people, and then Hoodie peeks after him. And even though... The Sage player wasn't really that distracted by Nuki's movement. He still had a troubles with the time he spends of, on creating a, a playbook for his team. And then suddenly... And Nuki knows that the player has to be on default or close behind that that wooden wooden box. And now they know where the player with the Bucky is playing. And Nonex, this is not a good fight that he wants to take. Somehow he's still peeking, he swapped to a classic. He thought he's gonna get lucky, but that wasn't the result that he was promised. And now it's gonna be a big problem for the retake. AMG, two versus four. The jet still has knives. He goes in alone now. 1v4, doable? Probably not. But he is hopeful. He picks in. It is happening, but GR is alone here. He's gonna see the barrel first, but Nook is just patient right now. Hopefully, there will be some success coming in from Heaven B and from CT, but Salmon gets the first contact and loses the trade and now it's two versus four unlikely for amg again meadow is fully flashed but that was no trade sorry that was no peak from Luke because he had to play against the player from default first and he gets one but it's not state of the game to be honest i i would trade on an attack specifically on split but kellogg's makes it work and nuki gets another kill Nonix with that buck, he doesn't get any value. Now Meta knows about the two players flanking and oh, it's gonna be so tough. 
pre-recorded. No, it's done. Like, it was crazy, huh? Noki with that super fast satchel. He spotted the player. Oh, my God. <gasps> Textbook exercise by Noki. So good, man. Look at Kellogg's getting so much space. That is absolutely the... Oh, they've been destroyed. Oh. Paranoia using the... Bed. Oh, what an opening for the Still an advantage towards the attackers, though. Three versus three. Showstopper ready and showstopper to be available because it just doesn't give enough. He knows when to peek while not being affected by the slow. Meadow gets checked. I think his barrel visible. And now it's looking pretty decent for AMG, even though they have lower buy. But Kellogg says no. Benches come out the time. 4G2. Still that showstopper ready. If someone is defusing, that showstopper will 100% kill him. And Kellogg's a little bit too fast on that. On that peak, Noki now has to peek out of that smoke. He does go in, and that's it. Why are you fooling me? You will I not know exactly kill my ally. I don't. I don't think I have to comment, right? I. I don't think I have to comment. Last player standing. Oh my. And the paranoia was still possible. They still had a paranoia post blend. You guys remember how Fink Split is an attacker's base map? Not much, but a little bit. And Avova, again, this is like the fourth kill on pistol round when he gets through a, through a smoke. He gets the sun as well. Nona gets the kill on the hoodie, but that's about it. He's not able to get more and he's not being traded. Oh, this is looking pretty okay right now for AMG. Two versus two, but no, he gets a double kill. No way. Man, that, that, that is just unlucky. It, it was looking okay for AMG in that moment, but then suddenly there's a lineup through a wall. The ghost gets enough damage through to Lou. To the inspectors. On paper, this is way, way on the G2 side, and they get the first blood as well. Hoodie will now have promo stock and another one, but he's low on HP. He can be spent here. He's 2 HP. And he's spent for the smoke. Oh, that was risky, but he gets without a scratch on his head, and Kalos just gets the kill on the flank. AMG unaware on the possibility of that happening. Kalos using every single piece of utility to just buy time, but that's it. 2 13 